location, Administration District, Psychology Laboratory. The gate to the target area is at point 40, negative 20, negative 12. name Linda Jennings. This is the sixth patient diagnosed with Pigman syndrome, given hydrochloric chlorpromogen. In her case, all destructive impulses are directed internally. She's scheduled to be transferred to ICU tomorrow. Module secured. Low. 
Patient name, Linda Jennings. It's been more than a week since her transfer to ICU. She was being monitored on a 24-hour basis. I refused to order the use of physical restraints. Miss Jennings committed suicide on October 18, 2091. whole is emitting a powerful thought energy wave. It was found that humans as well as animals feel fear and despair after absorbing the mind energy. The way they feel differs from one person to another. Some people have hallucinations. In most cases, it seems, people are directed to strong externally destructive impulses, but some people are driven by suicidal tendencies. Block. Sorcerer 2 is located on this floor. Sensors detect a high energy response ahead. I'm impressed with your capability, Captain Beckford. Your knowledge, memory, skill, and endurance prove to me that humans are not merely useless carbon-based life forms. I analyzed your thoughts and emotions and found that you have something I don't have. A weakness. Namely, a fear of death and adherence to life.
Welcome, Captain Beckford. I prepared a special surprise just for you. Sorcerer 2 has been reactivated. My internal system's malfunctioning. System safety lock on. Anchor deployed. Energy routing is offline. detect any objects or energy sources. The target has ceased all of its functions completely. Jamming has cleared. Distinction mode MDR-0265. Seeker, do you copy? We copy you, Brahma leader. Distinction code confirmed. Captain, you're right. Sorcerer 2 is terminated. Sorcerer 2 has stopped transmitting. Linda? Distinction signal yellow. Set the terminal code pulse to B9-AS. Can anyone hear me? This is Dr. Amanda Seward, Chief Researcher aboard Belt Logger 9. Can anybody respond, please? The doctor! This is Dr. Amanda Seward. Please respond. Dr. Seward, you okay? This is Captain Seth Wrangler Beckford of the Consolidated Cosmic Force. Doctor, are there any other survivors? Negative. I didn't detect any other survivors. Where are you? Internal control room. It's not on any of my maps. Module secured. High repair module secured. Shield bit secured. Cartridge secured. Missile secured. Missile secured. High energy module secured. Signal yellow. Data received. Dr. Seward, everything okay with you? I'm hiding in the deepest level of the Sorcerer 1 defense system, but it's only a matter of time before it's destroyed. Just stay put. I'm on my way. Root analysis complete. Brahma leader to Seeker. The doctor has been located. I'm proceeding to her location. Acknowledge, Brahma leader. You have a go. Location, Power District, Substrate Block. The gate to the basement level, P-01, is located at point negative 59, 27, 64. SAP Unit Secured. Secure. 
unit created by Vega destroyed the main power supply to Sorcerer 1. I switched to auxiliary power, but the output level of Sorcerer is still decreasing. Captain Beckford, I need to replace the system pack, please. System pack? There's a spare system pack in the container of storage area J81. Please get it and head for the microwave reception system. The reception system is located in the power block area. Analyzing the position. Marked the storage area. Marked the power block area. Doctor, tell me, what's the deal with Sorcerer 2 and Vega? Sorcerer 1 and 2 were created to perform all the functions of the human brain. Some of the Sorcerer memory consists of living neurons. Sorcerer 1 was used to emit an anti-energy wave toward Pikmin's hole. This anti-wave, devised after the Pikmin expedition, proved to be effective in neutralizing the influence of the hole. Sorcerer 2 was placed as a backup. Colonel Orion Tesla ordered the exposing of the Sorcerer 2 to the Pikmin energy wave. He spoke about creating some sort of super weapon. We were able to control it at first, but Sorcerer 2 started to malfunction. Many of the colony system also began to malfunction as well. Captain, we created Dionisio Vega. I'm heading for the storage area. Secured. WPA, WPA module secured. Captain, the system pack is located in container J81. The output level of Sorcerer 1 is still decreasing. Please hurry. Secured. Dr. Seward, do you think you can control the belt locker system? I'll try. Release all the locks en route to the storage area. I... I will. Please enter security code. down, Doctor. Is there any sign that Sorcerer 1 has been compromised? No, I don't think so. Is there any physical damage to the control system? I don't see any. Okay. What's the code for the storage area lock? It's B491. Please 
Enter security code. Analyzing unit driver. Missile unit secured. Unit name MOBS. Model number MOBS4. This model's enhanced intelligence and targeting system will simultaneously target up to four independently operating objects. Repair module secured. System pack secured. I want. Analyzing unit driver. W.E. Thyristor secured. Unit name W.E. Thyristor. Model number W.E-PTH. Increases energy conversion efficiency by 66% when energy is consumed by laser class weapons. Power block 
prepared. Power supply is at 100%. You did it! The output level of Sorcerer 1 is back to normal. How is the control system of Beltlogger? Most of it is normal, but the shipping and transportation systems inside the colony are out of control. What's causing it? Can you set up an interface with Sorcerer 1? Yes, but it may be dangerous. Why? There's a possibility that Vega may still exist somewhere inside the colony system. That's not possible, is it? I can't say. I'll try to set up an interface. Hurry. I repair module secured. Sorcerer 1 distinction signal blue. Link complete. B9 analysis. Locate the source of the problem. Control signal transmitted normally. All functions appear normal. Scan for jamming frequencies on all levels. Jamming frequency scan results negative. Scan for Dionisio Vega on all of B9 systems and subsystems. Any traces of Dionisio Vega are currently undetectable. Damn, Sorcerer 1, run a complete diagnostic. All functions appear normal. Do it again. Please repeat or rephrase your command. Eve, terminate the connection. Sorcerer 1 interface has been terminated. Something's not right, Captain. Sorcerer 1 should be able to triangulate any jamming frequencies. Could it be that Vega has completely taken over B9, including Sorcerer 1? This could be one of his games. Sorcerer 1's consciousness algorithms are thoroughly protected by several lines of firewalls. Even if Vega invaded all of B9 systems, it would take him a while to get past all of Sorcerer 1's defenses. What about Pikmin's hole? Sorcerer 1's defenses were shut down only briefly. Perhaps... Anyway, there is a possibility that Vega could still exist in the unit. I'll set up a manual scan of all of B9 systems. Seeker, do you read me? Commander Gideon! Wrangler, cut the crap! I'm with the Doctor, but there still appears to be trouble with Sorcerer 1. That, I'm done playing for right now. My game. I think they said it's only 22 stages. It's actually a surprisingly very good mech game for the PlayStation 1. Alright, thanks for watching all that good stuff.